here in Czech Republic after an amazing show. You brought fire to the stage. How are you feeling? We feeling good, bro. It was a great show, man. Y'all was hyped. It was good to see hip-hop camp, man. It was just a cool vibes, man. Great show. And uh, first of all, I wanted to say congrats to you on uh, Dreamville's album Going Gold, being certified gold at the end yeah. of the month. Uh, what is that like? It's amazing. Uh -huh. Having a gold project is amazing, man. It's our first gold ever. It's our first time ever even like really, really getting to the top of the charts, having a number one. It's been an amazing experience and just having a, having it as a collaborative effort with all your homies is the best thing about it. And uh, one of the standout tracks from, from Revenge of the Dreamers 3 is Sacrifices. You also dropped a video not long ago. What does this song uh, mean to you personally? Um, the song just testifies to what we put into this, you know what I'm saying? Everything that we that we sacrifice, everything that we put into planting these seeds to get where we are today, you know what I'm saying? We've been grinding for a minute, we got a lot of fans that's been going with us, you know what I'm saying, through this process. So it's really just a testament to our work ethic, a testament to the powers that be that been paving the way for us, and a testament to everybody who's been sticking with us, you know what I'm saying, through this process. We appreciate y'all, we love y'all. Okay, and uh, if you were to add some, if you were to also rap on that track, uh, what sacrifices would you rap about? Uh, plenty of sacrifices. I mean, sacrifice time for my family. I sacrifice, you know what I'm saying? We sacrifice the whole way up here. We sacrifice opportunities outside of hip hop. We sacrifice every day, you know what I'm saying? Sleep, blood, sweat, blood, sweat and tears, you know what I'm saying? We sacrifice everything to get to a certain point. When you got a goal in mind, it's all worth it. It doesn't feel like it, but it does. <laughs> And uh, in one of the reviews of your music, I found a cool quote. There's no denying that Atlanta is running the game, but Earth Gang is quietly making a case that the lyricists have something to say. So do you feel like you are carrying, you know, the South on your back uh, to, to prove once again that the South got something to say? Or are you just like uh, doing what you were raised on and uh, as far as uh, the, the hip hop lyrics and, and it comes out naturally? I feel like we're doing both. You know what I'm saying? The South always has something to say. You know what I'm saying? From way back when, before they brought us over there, you know what I'm saying? From Africa. So I feel like we always had something to say, and it's beautiful that the next generation get a chance to voice themselves and, and have a chance to, like, you know what I'm saying, get their voice to the people and to the world. Yeah, I, I, like you said, I, the South always had something to say. It ain't nothing new. And it's always been a very strong lyricist from the South. We just wasn't getting the highlights that it's getting right now, because what we bring to it is, is just a new energy. And, it just, and a new energy is always refreshing. So we, all we're doing is bringing new energy to a message that the South has always had and it's been instilled in us as we was coming up and we're and we putting it out to the new viewers and new world. Yeah, and and uh, I just want to say, you know, shout out to everybody before us who paid the way for us, you know what I'm saying, from from artists to, to activists in Atlanta, you know what I'm saying, Mana Jackson, you know what I'm saying, Outkast, Goody Mob, TLC, Jermaine KP, Dupree. Like KP, like the, the behind the scenes guys and the on the side of the scene guys and the in the scene guys and like KP and all those kind of guys, you know what I'm saying, like, uh, the, the Coach K's, the, the, the P's, everybody that's like, that's, that's paid away. They, they, it's, all, it's all about Atlanta culture together. <laughs> And uh, last question, one of my favorite songs is Monday featuring Mac Miller. Uh, what does that song mean to you right now and uh, after Mac, Mac has passed, unfortunately, as well? What are your, some of your favorite memories from touring with him? Um, first of all, you know what I'm saying, Mac was, was the first person in the industry to show us love like that, you know what I'm saying? Before anybody was rocking with us, like he extended his, his artistry, he extended his home to us, you know what I'm saying? He let us record, he was like, bro, I'm, I'm gonna get y'all a verse free of charge, nothing is nothing, I rock with y'all, y'all family. So, you know what I'm saying, it was just a good introduction to like, to being in the industry and to knowing who gonna rock with you like family, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that's just for business and just for clout. And there's other people in there that, that rock with you like family. So it was a blessing to be able to just to be in his presence and to work with him and create music with him. So we super thankful, super grateful. And he was just hilarious, you know what I'm saying? It was always a good time, always jokes and stuff. So we appreciate him continue to extend his family out to us. And we love you, Matt. Same. Okay, and uh, last question. What is the message that you would like to uh, leave with the people, like some last words uh, for the people watching it uh, that you would like to uh, bring forward? Uh, freedom, love, respect, and unity. Trust yourself, believe in yourself, trust your instincts. Right, thank you very much. Thank you, brother. Much appreciated. Thank you.